Next up, we have the Freedom Caucus here in AP. Texas Congressman Ted Poe now distancing himself from the group. He's announcing he's quitting after they failed to repeal and replace Obamacare. The Freedom Caucus was not united in opposing uh, the bill. About a third of us uh, wanted to go ahead and vote for the bill because, as you said, we spent an hour and a half with the President of the United States, with the Vice President, members of the Cabinet, uh, and talking about uh, trying to make this bill better. Changes were made, and at the end of the day, it still was a no, and I think that was uh, uh, improper to continue to vote no. Sometimes you guys say yes. Members of the House of Representatives, Republicans, voted 60 times to repeal the bill. Now when it actually counts to repeal the bill and replace it some, they backed off. They got cold feet. President Trump also blessing the Freedom Caucus, saying, quote, Democrats are smiling in D.C. that the Freedom Caucus, with the help of Club for Growth and Heritage Foundation, have saved Planned Parenthood and Obamacare. To a voter whose congressman is in the Freedom Caucus for his reaction, he's Ken Thompson. He's with me now. Ken, Ted Poe leaving this caucus. Is that a sign of things to come? What do you think? Well, I think it's a sign that the Freedom Caucus should consider rejoining the GOP. Uh, the Freedom Caucus seems to be sitting in the middle of the road somewhere, not quite sure what side of the aisle they should support. Should more congressmen follow them? What do you think? I think the Freedom Caucus has created an uh, unnecessary uh, problem for, for, the, for the president. We worked hard to uh, get our House member, Justin, reelected. We worked doubly hard to uh, turn Michigan uh, in support for... President Donald Trump, I'm very proud of both efforts. But right now, Justin's made it very difficult for, uh, mem for his constituents here in the 3rd Congressional District to really stand up and yeah. continue to support his uh, misdirection. Yes, yeah, sir. You know, next topic we have the controversial MIT economist and Obamacare architect, Jonathan Gruber. He was paid nearly $400,000 by the government to basically put in place Obamacare. He's the guy who called Americans, quote, stupid. His view is that Obamacare is a step toward government-run health care. Let's listen. There is simply no way we are going to get single-payer at the national level in the near future. If you like single-payer, then Obamacare has to succeed. That's a standby from a few years ago. What do you think, sir? I think Jonathan Groover is a Machiavellian academia from MIT who, when he supported uh, Mitt Romney's Romneycare, used the same uh, guile to uh, support what we know as Obamacare. Obamacare was wrong. The whole, whole gist of Obamacare is to go to single payer. Single payer is government mandated health care, which doesn't work. It's failed in England, it's failed in Canada, and we certainly don't need to offer them the opportunity to have it fail here in America.